This program is proudly sponsored by Mamas. Mamas, the best, naturally. Welcome to another episode of Slim Icons. Today we speak to Samantha who has started one of the most successful soup kitchens in Zimbabwe. Let's hear what she has to say. My name is Samantha Shingirai Morozoki. I'm a 36 year old mother of two. I am an immigration lawyer by profession and I am the one that has been running the Relief Kitchen in Chitungwiza dubbed the Kuchimbitana Trust. Uh, it started out in my bid to try and help fellow neighbours that I have known for over 10 years and quickly spiralled out into uh, a programme that was assisting to fight food insecurity when the first lockdown was announced. So as the, the kitchen progressed into assisting people into the first week, we, we developed a dynamic uh, to make sure that we satiate the food needs of every and any person that came to the kitchen. Um, it's a very humbling moment, so when people come in queue for food there, uh, to us it's a sign that there is a need. So we simply came up with a database to say uh, who comes from which house and how many people will they be collecting food for so that we don't have hordes of people waiting for food coming from the same house. So um, the, this also helped to shorten the turnaround time that we use, in, we use uh, in terms of serving food to the masses and having them go back home. Um, our target group uh, of late is now our, the 16 year olds and below and the 60 year olds and above also catering for the mentally and physically challenged. Uh, we've created target groups so that we're able to assist them uh, with their specific needs and also to be able to control the numbers as we were serving uh, close to 5,000 people at one point in time. We now, an average, uh, we now average 2,100 people per day serving two meals per day which is porridge and supper. So many a times I get asked the question uh, of how, how this all came about. It still surprises me because it was never planned. I never imagined myself uh, dealing with such a, an, an intensively uh, packed type of uh, job. But it, I think it mainly comes back to my background. Growing up, we always had uh, people at home that needed assistance or my mom sending us to a place with a package to help someone else. So it became a force of nature that whenever you can help, you should help. So um, I don't know if I could say it's a strength or it's a weakness in that I always want to fix, I always want to fix situations. one or two people that have offered to start uh, huge projects, uh, poultry and piggery projects for us, but because we have no way to, to call um, uh, our place and to kick such a huge project, we have had to somewhat decline the offer. And uh, this kills me because this is a lifeline that I can leave for these people, say a few years when I'm gone and I'm no longer on earth, people can still benefit from it. In a situation where one finds themselves feeling that uh, they would love to make use of themselves uh, but do not necessarily have the funds, I just like to tell them that you really don't need to have even 50 US dollars to be kind or you don't even need to have 30 dollars to show someone that you can help them. There's so many ways that you can show um, you care or show impact and everyone else will follow suit. Like we started out with 2 kgs of rice and 500 grams of beans, but look at the amount of help that we receive from the world. Uh, so sometimes you need to put yourself out there, uh, put your, 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 your ideas into practice, and if you can do it and believe in it, surely we can follow suit. So sitting at home saying, I can't do anything, I can be of no use to anyone, is doing a great disservice to yourself first. So rather, as cliche as it sounds, believe in yourself and just walk that. The worst that could happen, you're not doing anything, so if it doesn't work out, okay, you just go back home. But if it works out, then you've started a whole movement altogether. 
I really enjoyed listening to Samantha's story and I found it very inspiring. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Sam Icons. This program was brought to you by Mamas. Mamas, the best, naturally. naturally.